papers to put out ads. I invited food critics, bloggers, vloggers, etc. It was very slow at first, and I began to worry that the loan that I took out to do all of this was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life, and I ruined three generations of family businesses, but eventually it began to work. And a local semi-famous YouTuber featured us in one of his videos that was the catalyst for more people to come and review, and eventually we were seeing five to ten times the business we usually get, even if it's a Monday. We became a hot spot for major events and it wasn't uncommon for a celebrity to come. On those nights, I even arranged for special high-profile clients to visit and cook for our guests. This cost a fortune. So during the holidays, we were beyond packed. It got to the point where people would have to make reservations in July to get a table in December. This process took years to get to the point where it is now. When it gets busy, I don't just sit in the back office. I'm on the floor doing whatever needed to be done. 